Yeah. Well, actually, I, I graduated uh, in March. So okay. I've been sitting on my waiting on David, you know, to finish up so we can celebrate together. So, so let me get Services. We are a church for all people, and we welcome you as we Can you transform to the Memphis culture. The church is located inside Bun Presbyterian Church at 561 South Prescott Street, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Dr. Darnell Bruce Jr., Senior Pastor of the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis Incorporate, and I hope to see you there. This is the city. This is their story. Some days Hello, have been changed, your new and so many lives have been changed, too. They're going to give you the facts, just the facts. Some call this a city of crime. When they're done, it's going to be the city that cares a lot. This is the city, Memphis, Tennessee, where fearless, inspired, on fire, hungry rabble of revolutionaries has transformed hearts and minds, not with weapons, but with their own brand of compassion, integrity, and hard work. All they're asking is for you to join their movement. It's easy to join with a donation of $20, $50, or $100. And it's all for the nonprofit organization Relationships Unleashed. With this donation, you'll help enhance the three core principles of education, empowerment, and enrichment to the LGBTQ community and its allies. Go to www.relationshipunleashed.com. On the World Wide Web, relationshipunleashed.com. All donations are tax deductible. Come on, join the movement. By the way, I don't need a badge or a gun. I carry a microphone, bub. Go get tested for HIV AIDS because HIV AIDS has become the third leading cause of death among African Americans between the ages of 25 and 34. Even more surprising is the fact that this disease has become the leading cause of death for African American women between the ages of 25 and 34. The spread of HIV AIDS is the single greatest health crisis currently confronting African Americans. Let's talk about sex, baby. In Memphis, condoms are free from Planned Parenthood and their friends all over town. Nothing sexier than free. So check out freecondomsmemphis.org and get some. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Want to talk about sex? Talk about condoms at freecondomsmemphis.org. Get some before you get some. Freecondomsmemphis.org. Let's talk about sex, baby. Choices is a nonprofit sexual health clinic in Midtown Memphis. We accept 10 pair and offer patient assistance to help pay for needed services. Choices is proud to provide comprehensive reproductive health services in an LGBTQ affirming environment. We offer a wide range of services such as general wellness, fertility assistance, STI testing and treatment, reproductive health services for people living with HIV, That's a new Wi-Fi PrEP, password, and PEP, birth control, Gardasil vaccinations, abortion services, miss carriage management and services for trans and gender non-conforming people, including hormone replacement therapy. Everybody needs choices. Board 
Jordan shoes? Well, that's played out. The same as Lane. Turn up the bling with Sean Campbell Clemens. And her boutique of custom kicks and other items can be found on her website at www.1cdkix.com. 1cdkicks.com. Or call her today at 563 2814. You bring your converse and she will bling your converse. You see no shoes that bling and everybody like all the girls, but the mother that come, you only be too late for that. But if you like that, go check out her website. Cruise through that baby. There might be something on there you like. She's working on custom denim jackets and kids' clothes and themes and all of that. So remember, one cute girl for custom kicks. Also, baby, this new Unleashed Voice magazine is here. The May June issue is out in the streets. It's in 36 cities all over the United States. We got an awesome person on the cover, author activist TJ Wolf. Pick up that baby. It's at Side Street. We going to the Bayou Grill, uh, Cash Saver. Go up there, uh, Otherlands. Where else? Where are we? In the Duck Bookstore. <laughs> We're in the main library. We're in all the libraries in the city of Memphis. Yes. And go pick up your magazine. Or guess what? If you don't feel like getting out, go to www.tubmag.com. Hit subscribe, and we will send those messages to you every month like clockwork, every other month like clockwork. And everybody who ordered on our list, they will be mailed out on tonight. So be looking for your new magazine. It's an awesome, awesome magazine. Also, on this radio show, we have an opportunity for you to advertise your business, to connect with people that you ordinarily want to connect with. Did you know that the LGBTQ community pumps in over $800 million? Billion. Million. In this economy, right here, locally, three states, oh. right here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great, great resource, untapped resource. Advertise your business right here on the Unleashed Board radio show or in that magazine to be seen and to also get everything that you need to get out to the community and let them know what you're doing so you can get some money too. And what about our workshop on May 25th? It's not May 22nd. It's going to be on May 25th. That's a Thursday. Oh, you moved it. Yes, originally it was scheduled for May 22nd, but we had to uh, move it to May 25th. It's a Thursday. And we'll put more information out on next week regarding our uh, session on from Relationship Unleashed. May 25th, number two bands, free food, free drinks. We're going to talk about that more on next week. So check the social media sites and everything. But uh, today we're going to start a conversation, and we're going to hit Tri-State Pride, and we're going to hit Mother's Day. We're going to get out of here. But we're going to start this conversation for our next break. Uh, people, they want to do things in life. People are afraid to do things. People uh, let things hinder them moving forward in life. So we just want to talk, have a little dialogue on how we can keep moving forward in life and not let anything hold us back in life. So uh, uh, I started off with uh, many things that hold people back is you do not forget regrets. And you have to leave your mistakes and regrets in life in the past. I have made my share of mistakes and I got a whole lot of regrets. But that don't define my value. That don't define me now or then. So when you stay in the past, you get stuck in the past. Femma, wish I could have, I did it, uh-uh. No, 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 erase them words. Because when you stay in the past, you get unstuck, you're unable to move. You have to leave all of your mistakes that you made on your job, your past relationship with your friend, leave that stuff in the past because the issue is when you begin to learn how to put these things and experiences behind you by letting them go you can live in the now you can move forward you can give yourself the gift of forgiveness and you can keep moving forward in life i agree mm -hmm. i agree i agree i agree uh today at your commencement uh ceremony mm -hmm. you did speak this again mm -hmm. the thing was about the light. Yeah. They light it. Yeah. She said something so prolific today. She said, sometimes you have to be cracked so the light can get in. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us been broken and cracked. But it took those experiences for the light to get in. And the light, the light, the light, the enlightenment for things to happen to you in order for you to change 
and for God to come in and do what God do because usually when everything is going right, we don't seek him. When everything going right, everything going good for us, we don't seek him. It's only in those times of trouble. It's only in those times of panic. It's only in those times of desperation. It's only in those times of heartache that we tend to turn in. To, to, to the strength or to the source of star seeking answer but looking coming to church and following on the altar looking for David. It takes that. It, it takes that breaking down in order for you to get built back up. And I agree with you, David. I agree with you. You know, comfort kills ambitions more than anything else in our lives. Mm -hmm. Being comfortable. Being comfortable. And it's it's like David just said, uh, nobody knew you was in school working on your doctorate degree. Nobody knew I was in school, but a few close people work, working on my MBA. I've been in school since 2011. How long have you been in school? <laughs> Child, I don't know. So first you, you know, and, 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 and working a full-time job. Mm -hmm. Managing this radio show, magazine, and a nonprofit, and active in church, and still not complaining. Because this is how I look at it. When you ask God for a whole lot, God in return requires a lot from you. So are you going to say, well, I'm going to give it back now? Because everything that we've asked for, pretty much, we've been blessed. Well, with that being said, uh People have to realize this. You have to know what you want. In, I always say this all the time. It's not about how. It's only the what. And in order to move forward in life, you need a firm foundation to step from. And understanding what and where you want to go in life will provide the vision and the spirit for your foundation. And so the how will figure itself out when you know what you want and it keeps you moving forward. I know exactly what I want. And so, what I want, I know what I got to do to get what I want. You have to work hard. Any success that comes overnight is going to be easily lost, and it's not going to be um, uh, 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 reverence. You, 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 you're not going to. It's not going to feel. Uh, you're not going to feel appreciative towards. So you got to work hard. People think uh, this stuff comes overnight and it's easy. This stuff is hard. The grind is hard. The hustle is hard. It's hard. And the question is, how bad do you really want it? And then before we take our commercial break, throw this we get this I get this a lot from uh, the, the marketing firm that you know connected with. What is your why? Mm -hmm. What is your why? You should have five things to say about something that you want in life, a particular thing. Mm -hmm. If you want a beauty shop, if you want a, a, a barber shop, if you want a clothing line, if if you want a, a, a magazine, if you want to be a singer, if you want to record an album. If you want to uh, write a book, if you want to be a, a fashion designer, if you want to just be a basketball player, NBA player, what is your why? What is your why? And once you figure out what is your why, you will understand what is the driving force behind this particular goal or focus or whatever it is that you're chasing. Because sometimes you'll jump on something just because you see somebody else doing it and make it look easy. And it might not be for you, boo-boo. might not be for you. Find out what is your why. Well, we gotta take this well, last commercial break. Before you do the commercial break, I throw okay. this one in because I got right like five minutes. Okay, the next one is you have to when she said know your why, know your why. But then you gotta come back and you have to ask for help. Mm -hmm. You're not alone. It feels like you're alone. It feels like you're all by yourself. You out here uh, fishing and swimming in the middle of the ocean, but you're not. There are many people who want to extend their hand to you and lift you up if you ask. But if I don't see you doing it, then you come ask me for something, why should I help you? You have to be hungry, you got to be working, you got to be grinding. If I see you grinding or people see you grinding, they will be more lenient to extend their hand to help you than give it to you if you're just sitting at home playing PlayStation, sitting on your bus smoking weed 